They're, that's right, then, isn't it? No, because it should be. Clear. Oh, I see. All uh, right. Very exciting when the bright lights come on. Ooh. The nerves ramp up. Yep. So when that goal light is on. <laughs> I know where we are. At first, I thought we're at the Masters. Now I know. No, we're not. No, we're not at the Masters. And, uh, well, this is the uh, welcome back, everyone. Thank you. Uh, Thank this you. is called. It's good to be back with you. This is uh, called the Midwest Sports Show. Mm. And uh, this is a podcast. This is really Midwest. Because slash. I see the corn in the background. YouTube show. Yeah. And if you want to uh, be a part of the show, you can uh, check it out on YouTube or uh, Facebook mm. and uh, see where we are. My name is uh, Chris Stotz, and uh, I'm joined, as always, by uh, Gene Steichen. Hello. Gene. Or you can join us live. How's it going? Good. Hey, can I dedicate this to my friend Al Beckius? It's his birthday. So, Al, this is for you. Also, hey, a lot of, a lot of stuff doesn't happen in Dubuque sometimes, my hometown. But we had a great sports weekend because our local high school, not the one I went to, uh, Dubuque Senior, they finished second in the state. They lost the title game. For what? The, in basketball. Oh, men's, okay. In boys' basketball. Okay. Very, and, very close. Close, yeah. close, but no cigar. Oh, and the Loris Wrestling Team, the college my dad graduated from in my hometown, they finished second in the country in wrestling in, I think, Division Six or whatever division, a smaller division. Well, you know, Gene, if they would have won, yeah, if if only they would have won, but uh, right. the, the the boys came too early, uh, so uh, okay, I don't think didn't that uh, didn't work out. Oh, and then the East Dubuque boys, right across the Mississippi River, they made it to the Elite Eight uh, in the Illinois Small Division basketball, but they got knocked out by a Chicago team. How about that's pretty a lot of stuff going on in back there. Yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of Midwest stuff, and most that's, exciting of all. Uh, because the Midwest has a lot of cats. I went to Cats last night, yep. and it was unbelievable. All right, have well, you seen Cats? No, I've not. I've not seen Cats. I still here what for a, a couple more weeks. What is the uh, story? Is it kind of like it, Toy Story but with cats? Uh, yeah, it was based on uh, Andrew Lloyd Webber did it. I didn't know, but it was based on the old possum. Some T. S. Eliot or who's the Eliot, the children's author? Something, but it's based on the some old possum story where they all the cats meet up in I don't know some sort of heaven thing, and and one one they have a ball, and one gets to get reborn at the end of the night. So yeah. it's an allegory for Christian Christendom I, or something. I, I didn't read for that Christ? much into it. It was just great with the furry costumes, and this thing it was great. <laughs> Memories was in it. And I'm going to see it again next week. Where there so. are a lot of, you know, it's too, you know, the Rocky Horror Picture Show? Yes. You know how everyone goes dressed up as their favorite character? Oh, yeah, yeah. Why don't they do that with cats? I I, I saw what? some, there's some kids that had cat ears on, but that's about as close. There are, you know, Gene, you heard about these furries, right? Yes. Fur, it, it's a big thing. very well. Furries. Furries yeah. are uh, these individuals. They, they would be very much sought in. That, after those cats that like to dress up in these uh, furry costumes, yeah, kind of like uh, you know, you know, Chuck E. Cheese, yeah, you know, Chuck E. Cheese, that would be a furry. Chuck E. Cheese, yeah, Chuck oh. E. It's not Chuck E. It's Chuck E. Oh, I see. cheese. Chuck e. E. Yeah, e. is his right, middle initial. Right. I love that place, by the way. So, <laughs> I got I, Gene. You're the only person over twelve no, that's I ever remember, uttered that son- I remember, sentence. I remember I watched Iowa lose to Ohio State. I was just drinking a pitcher of beer and sitting in Chuck E. Cheese with a bunch of kids who I didn't know. I was by myself <laughs> watching Iowa lose. And how long I, before they called the cops on Eugene? That's I don't know. that's the question. Hey, the head the head cat. He's this huge guy. He wears a huge furry thing, so he'd be sought after in the fur world. And then during intermission, they have eighteen minute intermission. He just sits on the stage and stares at the audience. Wow, it's very. He, weird. he should play with like a scratching post or something yeah, like that, or yeah. uh, cat, some catnip. Oh, <laughs> Did, was any of the cats addicted to catnip and like like a <laughs> like like very, a drug addict, like yeah, crystal meth? Yeah, I think so because they the show was originated in the eighties, so a lot of uh, illegal catnip. But it, I'm telling you, it's it's. I can't wait to. I'm going to see it again next week. So that's that. Anyway, the mic is on, right? Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, that's uh, you know, Gene. You're uh, caught up. There I, you go. I, I make fun of cats whenever you say it, right. but now there's a lot of stories. A lot of stories. Well, to that cats. was the longest, longest catnip. running show on catnip. And what else about cats? Uh, My scratching mom has post. Two cats. Spade was any of the cats? Did they talk about the spade issue? I 
I, no, no. Was any was any cat forced to have his testicles <laughs> removed? There were a lot of in kids the play? in the audience, so I don't think they wanted to go that route. How about how about the uh, we we're talking about this last week? How about the schizophrenia <laughs> bacteria that's in cat shit? Anyone? No, I, I don't. Any any that. litter boxes anywhere? I no, I, I didn't see. Any, but you know, it was great because I I'd sit I'd sit second row orchestra, and the cats they come out of the audience and they purr right next to you. So I got a, I got a, a, a lot of cat in my <laughs> in your face. Yeah. A lot of pussy in your face. Oh man. Worse there's than a strip a lot club. Because there's 23 cats in the show. Oh, okay. Very good. And then what is, uh, in, in Garfield? Garfield, uh, Garfield I don't think they got the rights to Garfield. How, how would it, Heathcliff? Remember, Heathcliff? he wasn't in, remember how pop, Garfield was popular back in the day. Yeah, it was. I wonder what I, I was a fan of Garfield. Oh, I did too. But then I read something about like how Garfield is the most banal, generic, unfunny mm. comic book this wow. side of Family Circus, and I was like, you know what? I think it, I think they're right. Maybe, do people maybe still, the early uh, cartoons were yeah. a little bit edgy. Did they? Did they? But, well, Doonesbury was, or was it Doonesbury? They were. Or I don't. know. The Far Side, I think. Yeah, I Far Side classic, classic. Yeah. Kids these days, well, uh, these no, kids. never know about what the Far they up Side. To? Generation Z. Anyway, right. so very good. All right, so that's... I know where we are now. I didn't see that corn, but so now I see. Gene was off Broadway last night. Yeah, no, I now... was right in Broadway. That's okay. a. I was at the Pantage. Oh, well, that's boy. that's off Broadway. That's that's it's Broadway off at its finest. It's West Coast Broadway. No, but it's it's our theater is more. It's a bigger. It's bigger than any Broadway theater. It's the theater. I've never and been in the Pantage, so oh, it's uh, great. Twenty seven hundred seats. Not a bad seat, and. And uh, uh, yeah. All right, so okay. finally updated. All right, Gene, I know, finally... I know where we are. By the way, and my uh, friend Craig yeah. works there. From off Broadway to uh, the Field of Dreams, man, the corn gave it away. And, it's uh, so great. It's and, uh, the most beautiful place. We're uh, we didn't get the prime row seats uh, over by home plate. They uh, we were only allowed yeah, to set up in the outfield. Looks like we're in. Uh, I, yes, this is I the believe, outfield. I believe this is uh, Shoeless Joe Jackson's uh, yep, spot yep. when he came Ray, out. Ray, Ray Liotta, Liotta. Yeah. came out of the cornfield. Smoking cigs. Now he's on Chantix. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and, that's uh, a sad state of affairs. Yep, exactly. And so every year, I think they're having, or they maybe they just had another big. Every year they have a big celebrity event where people, uh, celebrity stuff, they come and they do a charity game there. But yeah, All right. and and last year or two years ago, a year and a half ago, when they celebrated twenty fifth anniversary, Kevin Costner went to feel the dreams again, and they showed the movie right here in the cornfield. Oh yeah, yeah. He I he did. He, had, he left for that though, right? He didn't stay. No, he stayed the whole oh, okay. weekend. He played in the game. He watched a movie, and then his band his band played. Yep, his band say. played in Dubuque, my hometown. Yeah, it was a triple threat. He triple played threat. down by the Mississippi River. Where did you actually go? Did you attend that? Or you no, just heard this? I wasn't there. Bob Costas did it, and then they filmed it for the baseball MLB Network, which they show quite often. So, oh okay, yeah. All right, so uh, hey, that's a lot. I gave you a lot. Yeah, a lot what do you? Of, how can you possibly top that? You know this. Uh, this podcast is not just about uh, entertainment; it's about information. Oh, as well. Well, so. if you haven't seen Cats, oh boy, you're, I'm telling you, out. I was late. I was late to the cat cat party, but now I'm. I'm so, Remember, yeah. David Letterman always used to talk about cats on, yeah. the, on the old show when it was on and all that stuff in New York. Mm. Uh, <laughs> trust me, he did. All right, all right I'm gonna trust um, you. All right, so yeah, we're in the field of dreams. It's uh, so it's it's. Uh, I asked them to uh, sh- uh, you know, vacuum all the snow or brush, yes, sweep all the snow. You. It's it's very green, very green right now. I don't now. think the corn. Yeah, is corn's pretty this, high. Yeah, for this time of year, I, oh. I I'm kind of surprised. Well, this may be some fake Hollywood corn. Oh, I Gene. See. Yeah. So hey, you uh, took us to uh, Wrigley Field, rooftops, and yep. Field of Dreams, Lambo, and Lambo. Lambo Field. Thank you. The budget of the show just keeps on growing Amazing. and growing Amazing. and growing. So, yeah. all right. Well, Gene, uh, this is the Midwest Sports Show, mm-hmm. and uh, we have a lot to talk about. Oh. Uh, you see the menu uh, right there. Yeah, a lot of interesting ahead, uh, yeah. stories. Yeah. So why don't we uh, kick it all off? With um, more high school basketball results. Yeah, with some. Uh, it would have been great if Division Dubuque Four Senior. No, that was Lawrence. But the, the Senior Dubuque Senior High School, they're in the big division. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, Gene, again, there's a lot of news to talk about, so oh, let's okay. let's dig right into it. And first, we're going to talk about the Packers. Packers. A lot of Packers news uh, wow. going on. 
And uh, Gene, I, uh, I I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, I'm, but uh, uh, I'm glad they didn't get Antonio Brown. Well, <laughs> well, we might as well talk about that since uh, <laughs> oh, sorry. you stepped on it. I didn't know what you uh, got. But, oh, yeah, there okay. was uh, the Antonio Brown sweepstakes right. uh, yeah. or maybe a lottery or maybe a crying game. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Uh, he uh, He's not happy with uh, Big Ben. Mm-hmm. He's not pl- happy playing with a uh, right, right. Hall of Fame uh, hey, quarterback. Jordy, Jordy Nelson, now that he, he's not really needed in Oakland, he should come back to Green Bay. Yeah, come why, home, why Jordy. Come back. Yeah, we, we, and or we can now that Martellus Bennett said he's ready to come back and play for the Patriots. Uh, that's a two way street, sir. No, yeah. I don't know if. Uh, yeah, they have to ask you first, but yeah. you can't just say I want to play. I don't. I don't we'll By the way, see. how's that animation movie coming oh along? Did that ever happen? Did that wow. ever pan out? He's broke. He spent all that money right. on animation I, yeah. equipment. That never mm, happened. Okay. All right, but yeah, uh, Packers were in the uh, running, I guess, for Antonio Brown. Mm. Uh, and, uh, but apparently that did not happen. And it looked at first like he was going to get shipped to Buffalo. Ooh. Uh, but now it seems like, uh, he's actually, uh, with the Raiders, but, uh, the trade hasn't even, the trade deadline hasn't even began, right? I'm the trade surprised. I think Pittsburgh, they, it, it, they got announced by Friday or Wednesday. I Wednesday, think. right? Yeah. Yeah. I think Pittsburgh should come to their senses and pull that trade because I, have you read anyone that said they're doing a good thing? I mean, because they're they're hurting themselves more than helping Oak or whatever. Well, it seems seems like he's not very happy. Well, I know, uh, but they're taking. Steelers. Did you see how much money they have? To, it's twenty one million against their oh, own yeah. cap. I guess the cap, yeah. And then they're only getting like a three and a four for him. Or something yeah, like that. a five and a seven. Something like three that. Three and a five. Yeah, it sounds like it's yeah. a good trade for the Raiders, but not uh, not for the but Steelers. But he it'll be a disaster in Oakland, guaranteed. Well, I, I shouldn't guarantee it because. In case I'm wrong. Yeah, well, do you think... All right, I'll guarantee it. He's, uh, he's bullying uh, Ben Roethlisberger. Do you, uh, how do you think David Carr? Oh, uh, Derek Carr. Derek Carr. No, Derek... Yeah. Is, David yeah, was yeah, the yeah, older okay. brother. Oh, by the way, you got two <laughs> kids. Why why name them Dees? <laughs> we, we can't create... We're not creative? Right, right. yeah. We're not creative in the Carr family? Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. You know? My, my friends, uh, the ranks... You know what I say? I say what? that's dumb. Yeah. What do you say? Because there's uh, four kids and they named them all Jays. Do you, are you for that? No, I think that's uh, that's just creating more work oh, okay, for you. I and uh, mm-hmm. all right, so yeah, Antonio Brown probably to the uh, Raiders, but uh, right. the Steelers may just spite him and spike the deal. I I, and, I uh, think they would because that's a else. terrible deal they're getting. Send him back to Buffalo. Buffalo won't take him. Yeah. I'm surprised the Ra- oh the Raiders. They're a disaster. They deserve yeah. whatever. They're gonna be two and uh, fourteen yeah, again. Right. Exactly. Next year. All right. Well, Gene, the uh, the first leadoff story I was going to lead with, and again, oh, it's kind of kind of got bad news here. Oh. Uh, Packers are increasing ticket prices. That I next saw. year, yeah. Uh, despite missing the playoffs two years in a row, hmm. and uh, by the way, uh, they're making so much money, so, a lot of money, and uh, it gets a lot of help from the state. Oh my gosh. Uh, don't so think. here's the facts. As increases go, it's a small one with more than half the tickets going up by two dollars or less per seat. Game, the average increases between one and six dollars per seat. I love how they say the average. Yeah. Right. Price. Uh, I'm sure the good seats are uh, jumped up like twenty five bucks. That's so. exactly it. Or and something. I'll let you know, as an owner, and my vote does count. Come July, I did not sign off on this. I stand up for the people. But, Gene, don't you want uh, some more money to, to come back and the returns because you're an owner? Those, the same thing with Wrigley Field. They should not – the money they're making at, at Wrigley, I mean, they're building the whole city. That, spend your own money. Don't take it out on the fans. Yeah. 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 All right. And then the, the pricing uh, increase continues our practice of keeping our prices just below the middle of NFL pricing. While recognizing the value of the game day experience at Lambeau Field and providing shared revenue to our fellow NFL teams, President Mike Murphy said in a release. And again, I love how they're like, uh, it's just below the middle of NFL pricing. Right, well, right, I, right. I would like to see the numbers on that. I would like to see the math. I, I, I'll tell you what. When we have our Nest uh, owners slash shareholders meeting. Slash PR event? Yes. <laughs> where we get to vote on the board of directors uh, and get a free shirt. I'll, I'll get some answers, All right. but I'm not happy. Demand some answers. Yeah. All right. Not happy. And then more Packers news, Gene. Mm-hmm. Um, the Patriots called the Packers about the availability 
of receiver Randall Cobb last season. Wow. Jay Glazer of The Athletic Reports. Did not know that. They, Jay uh, Glazer, who got his tooth knocked out by a woman. A girl. Oh, yeah? Well, they were training. It's yeah. Some celebrity. Yeah. Okay. Um... Yeah, I you know isn't it? It was his last year, right? And they have to renew his contract or something like that. So I don't know, and they're not going to renew it. So I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they should have done that. It feels oh, very. No. It feels very dangerous for the Packers that they're they could easily slip into oblivion, couldn't they? They need Aaron um, Rodgers to come up one big last stand. Because <laughs> yeah. ever talk about Bears this, Bears that. Yep. Mm. And then uh, speaking of oblivion, uh, fullback John Cohen. Oh, has arranged to retire yeah. as a Packer, the club announced. So Kuhn oh, yeah. was part of that Super Bowl team. I believe he was part of the Super yes. Bowl team, right? I do believe. Uh, I'll say yes. I think so. And then he the, went to. I don't want to be difficult. So yeah. He went to uh, the Saints for a couple oh, of years. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. And uh, yeah, so, uh, but he's coming back and uh, he's retiring as a Packer, which is uh, nice. And again, I uh, I love the, uh, the idea of a stadium full right. of uh, white people. Yelling out, Coon! <laughs> Coon! I never, when I, I go to a game every year, I've never, I've, I've never done that. So <laughs> I don't boo, the, I didn't boo the Packers last year when they're losing 20 nothing to the Bears, and I don't say Coon <laughs> in any form. All right, well, that's good. Yeah, that's you're good. welcome. All right, and then uh, again, it's, uh, it's, it's free agency season. So uh, we got a lot of transactions, a lot of stuff going on. Uh, here's some other. Well, it's not it's not quite fr- uh, free agency, but there are right, signings right. and all this stuff. So, uh, and here's some news from the Bears. Oh, the, the Bears, Gene. I got some Bears news here. Okay, as well. okay. Not to feel I left out. I, I bet I'll know what you're gonna say, but I'm not gonna assume it because I don't want to come off too high and mighty. But I'm pretty much sure I'll know what you're gonna say. All right, sounds good. Okay. Uh, the Bears held another group tryout at Hallis Hall. Oh, oh today. Yeah, By the way, have you been to Hallis Hall? I did. I went. I went uh, last year in September. Big. I. It's in Lake Forest, which is about twenty miles north of downtown. And uh, I went to the gate. It says it's a big complex. It's beautiful, but they don't let you go in the gate, past the gate. See Lambo, you can just. Yeah, they're practicing. You just look through the gate, or you can watch them practice sometimes. No, no, they. You got a. It's a high security. But I did. There. There's a huge football helmet. I think it's at Chicago. So I saw that. Yeah. All right. Yeah, nice. Okay. That was hot. Aren't you glad you asked? All right. so. uh, and the team has signed another kicker. Yeah. As former Pittsburgh kicker Chris Blewett emerged from the field. <laughs> wow. Uh, Gene, let me ask you this: Do you really <laughs> want your kicker to be named Blewett? I don't think. I don't think so. How many? Can you see the headline in the Chicago right. Sun Times right now? Yeah. Blewett. Yeah. Blewett. Yeah. Blewett. Exclamation yeah. point. Yeah. All right. Not good. The Bears. I hope. He didn't play in the pros. He's never. He played at Pittsburgh in college. Oh, it was at. It was not at the Steelers. It was no, uh, Pittsburgh. No, he played okay. for the Panthers. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then uh, Case Keenum, former wow. Minnesota Minnesota Vikings quarterback, this is starting to go bad for him. Who jettisoned him to uh, the Broncos yeah. for Kirk Cousins? Well, he's uh, been jettisoned again. Mm. It's nice to feel wanted, I guess, right, Gene? Wow. By a lot of different How's he, I mean, wasn't it two years ago when he's on the field crying, thanking God, and beating the Saints, and the future's so bright? Now he's just being kicked around like an old alley cat. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I am seeing stray cats this summer as well. Is that like the prequel? The, or what? The, no. They're, the cats? They're, they're getting back together. The uh, band? Yes. The cat at band? Their 40th anniversary. Cats? Yeah. The cats? Yeah. Yeah. Well, Gene, there's uh, more than one way to skin a cat. Well, if you, we'll find uh... out. By the way, any cat skinning <laughs> no. going on? Was he was the villain a cat skinner? <laughs> no, they didn't do that. No? No, they didn't. Okay. No. Well, by the way, did everyone have their license? I, I don't know. Or tags? What do you call those things? Yeah. No, uh, do, do you no, license no. I, I didn't. cats? I, I was up close, but I didn't see anyone wearing tags, so okay. maybe they didn't. Well, maybe they got those computer chips in the back right. of their necks. Exactly. Or something. Yeah. yeah. All right. So anyways, Case Keenum is going to the Redskins. The Case Keenum or Casey Kasem, right? <laughs> I'm like, Case Keenum, doesn't he do the top 40 wow. every week? I know. We uh, lost Casey Kasem. Yeah. And so he's going to the Redskins, right. and uh, everyone's talking about how the Vikings have no cap space right now. Wow. Because of uh, Kirk Cousins' contract. That, so. Kirk Cousins is another one. It, he seems destined for a disaster all the way around. 
Yep. And now the Vikings. Uh, yeah. And what happened to the Vikings? They were this hot team, and now it's like, wow. They didn't make the playoffs last last no. year, right? No. Mm. So a lot of stuff can change. A lot of, that's why you, you know when you're good and you got a good team, <clears throat> you got to go for it. You got to go for that Super Bowl. Right. Right. Away. Go for it. All right. And then uh, the Lions uh, plan to sign former Patriots and Dolphins wide receiver uh, receiver Danny Amendola. Yes. To a one year deal that includes four point five million guaranteed base. So I said with incentives that can bring it to five point seven seven five. Five point seven five million. Um well Gene, uh from Brady for from Tom Brady to uh Tannenhill. What is it Matt Tannenhill? What's his first name? Uh, Ryan, uh, Ryan Tannenhill, Ryan, right? Ryan Tannehill. To yeah. Matthew Stafford. Wow. And uh Gene, by this time, with all the concussions he's had, <laughs> he probably doesn't even remember Brady. So oh it's uh gosh. probably okay. I don't know. These guys they, see they, uh, no matter what you say about the football, oh, we're not doing this for the play. These guys don't want to give it up. Yep. Yeah. Well, <laughs> he's only 33, Gene. So oh, okay. I don't think. Uh, well, do you think Gronk's going to give it up? Yeah, I think he will. I think he yeah, will. Yeah, he might have to. He's, uh, he's pretty beat. He's be- yeah, you're right. Yeah. yeah, he might have to. All right. And then, Gene, uh, oh. on the ongoing saga. Saga is a good of, word. Uh, Kellen Twilight was a saga. Remember that? Yep. The Twilight Saga. Sure. Yep. Yeah. One of the movies I think was Twilight Saga. I saw all of them. Not. Yeah. <laughs> that was a right. dark time in my life watching the Twilight movies. All right. More more furries in the audience. Cats <laughs> or uh, the Twilight Saga? Uh, the cats. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, Gene, uh, Kellen Winslow Jr. He oh my uh, gosh, seems to have guy. issues. He he played for Cleveland. Yep, that's the Midwest tie oh, right there. Thank, oh, good for yep. you. There you go. Yeah. Former, and here's a story. Uh, former NFL player Kellen Winslow Jr. was arrested last night by San Diego mm-hmm. authorities. And this is, uh, I think, over the weekend or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. Late be- last week. After being accused of a series of lewd acts in front of an elderly woman at a gym last month, according to the San Diego uh, Tribune, Union Tribune's Terry Figueroa, San Diego County inmate record show Winslow was charged with one count of lewd conduct, one count of battery of an elder, and one count of willful willful cruelty to an elder. All the charges are misdemeanors. Per the Union Tribune, Winslow went up to a 77-year-old woman while they were ex- exercising near each other at a Carlsbad gym mm. on February 13th and began touching himself, oh, boy. asking if she liked it. Oh, boy. Prosecutors Yikes. say he returned to the gym and harassed the woman again on February 22nd while she was in a hot tub. Oh, he got boy. in wearing nothing but a towel and started touching her arm oh. and foot. And, oh. of course, this is uh, in addition to all those rape charges, I guess. He, uh, with he, 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 and then, oh, this guy. This guy loves uh, loves the older ladies, Gene. Wow. He loves and older he, ladies. Hey, listen, this guy's never getting, I don't think he'll ever get out of jail because they revoked his bail. Well, and, these are all like small but charges, But his, right? his real charges, he's facing multiple oh, the rape, felonies. the rape charges? Oh, yeah. yeah huge. He had $2 million bail, but it's too bad. His dad was such a legend. <laughs> His and dad was uh, one of the best receivers yeah, of all time, right? Kellen Winslow. Make, making the old man proud. That's the one thing. When you're going to name your kid after yourself, watch it there. Yeah, it, you, if it goes bad, you're stuck with that. Maybe wait until you get a psychiatric evaluation before you sign this the guy. birth certificate. Oh, my gosh. What a disaster. And, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, but kill it. I mean, I, I, <laughs> oh, I, I, I know you're, you're, you're not trying to help. Yeah, I know you're trying. probably well. Maybe they let you have YouTube or Facebook in jail. Right. I don't yeah. know. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you, I mean, just take off your shirt and walk down to the beach, and then you will find some old ladies that will probably hit hit on you or something, right? I mean, yeah. isn't there a better way to do this? Right. Go to the senior center. You know, something like that. All right, hold on. Oh, uh, there think, we uh, go. I think we're good. Yeah. All right. So uh, yeah, not good. Not I good can for safely me. say I've never approached a. Uh, seventy-seven year old. Although when I'm when I'm seventy-seven, I'm I'm sure I will. So, but, but in a gentlemanly kind of way. But Gene, you know, one one last point here. You know all yeah. these stories about like the the teachers having sex with the kids right. and all that yeah, stuff, and yeah, then you see yeah. it's like a hot teacher and all yeah, that stuff. Yeah. Oh, uh, maybe she's a hot seventy-seven year old. You know, could who be. knows? Maybe hey, maybe Raquel could help. Welch is what eighty. What about Sophia Loren? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's the, hey, Joan man. Collins. She's got to be. 80 something and she's gonna be on tv this week yeah. somewhere yeah all yeah, right in, in, in the gym scene i'm not rolling anything out but i think i would ask permission first well <laughs> killing i mean 
When's the last time he's dated someone in his own oh, decade? Wow, well, huh? he was married. Generation. Yeah. Wow. Uh, yeah. When he was married, he told his uh, wife to, uh, "Hey, just put on this gray wig and uh, let's Daddy let's gain just, a bunch of weight so you can uh, uh, have skin hanging yeah. skin from your arms." Oh, How about boy. that? Okay. Okay. Mm. All right, Gene. Let's uh, let's turn to baseball. Mm. Uh, I watch a lot a of bit. spring training, so I saw the Brewers. I think the Brewers are playing the Cubs at one point. But anyway, I've, I've watched yeah, I watch. I can't. I can't watch these games because I don't, I they only bat like twice. Sound. I just have it on in the background, and I once in a while I will look up. They I don't, don't look at the. Re- I'm not. I'm not even about the results right now. Yeah. I'm just about improvement and finding a maybe a young, young upstart. Yep. Uh, well, Gene, uh, Sonny Gray oh. was acquired by the Yankees at the 2017 oh. trade deadline as a potential ace. Sonny Gray from the Yankees. Yeah. Uh, for two, now he's with the Reds. And ultimately de- was deemed unworthy to even make last year's postseason roster after being demoted to the bullpen what and posting a 4.90 yeah. ERA, which right, is right. pretty hot. You yeah. don't need to be a stat head to know that's pretty hot. Yeah. Believes the Yankees' insistence on throwing a high percentage of sliders caused the right-hander to struggle using a pitch he's not confident in t- confident uh, too often. They, sl- they love sliders. Gary okay. told the athletic right. sliders are a great pitch. The yeah. numbers say slider is a good pitch, but you might not realize how many uh, shitty counts you're getting to while throwing all those sliders. They want, they wanted me to be uh, Tanaka and I'm way different from him. Oh, I see. So, so I don't know. Is, is that, is this an indictment on him or I, the uh, Yankees coaching staff yeah. uh, putting him in these situations? By the way, can't you like whatever happened to waving off your catcher? That's you know, right. Can, can't you, I, I bet we he'll have another tough go. I shouldn't keep betting. I'll say maybe he'll have another tough go, and then he'll t- turn on the Reds as well. Yep. Yeah. Well, Gene, uh, as a Brewers fan, I cannot wait to get this guy. Hey, I'll tell you on one thing. Mount. You better. You better. I'll be at the Brewers game in a, about three weeks. Or uh, you better hope you don't run up against you, Darvish, because <laughs> he's got something to prove, and he will prove it. There's a predict. Uh, uh, I, I think he's going to be great. Him and his surgically impaired, uh, repaired elbow? Mm-hmm. Or what? I don't. Has I, he pitched for spring training yeah, yet? Yeah, he's pitching. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. And he's talking. He's not using a translator anymore. All right. Great. He speaks fine English. Very fine. Okay. Sounds good. Well, uh, watch out. Watch okay. out, everyone. Well, you better. All right. So even though spring training is in full force, that's all yeah. the news. That's all the baseball news we got. Uh, but baseball will be back like in two weeks. And, Gene, I did not realize this, but the Cubs, I'm sorry, the Brewers – are making a California swing really early in oh, April. Oh, I didn't know that either. They play the Angels for three oh. games, and they play the Dodgers like within the first two weeks. F- oh, that's their trip of, uh, to April. LA. Yeah, I think they. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I don't know. I might be going to those Angels games. Yeah, I don't know. I'm well, gonna I'm going to go to Texas for the Cubs opener, and then I'm going to their home opener, and then also see them in Milwaukee. There okay. you go. All right, sounds good. All right, and um, all right, so we're gonna move on. That's oh, baseball. Hope everyone enjoyed the baseball stories. Yeah. Hey, I'm excited about the year. I think I will. I, I'm i excited. I, I think this will be. It, the division's going to be tough. I'm not taking the Brewers for granted. All right. There you go. Yeah. Gene, we're going to uh, move over to uh, the NCAA, the college. Hawkeyes uh, and Badgers ranks. are both going to be in the tournament. That's when, good. Uh, by the way, one of the uh, tournaments uh, this oh, weekend. It, or what? They announced a selection. How about this? Next Sunday. And you know who's the best of all those schools? Um, uh, Marquette. Oh, yeah? Here, yeah, from Milwaukee. There you go. Yep, yep. All right. Well, Gene, uh, NCAA, uh, Urban Meyer, oh, former yeah. former coach of yeah. Ohio State. Mm. Sources say Fox has hired uh, him and one of the greatest running backs in college game history, uh, Reggie Bush, for its new, uh, mm. what do you call it, uh, what do you call that, your your day team, whatever? Yeah. Your broadcasting uh, what, booth? What happened to Matt Leinart? Well, I guess they're coming back. He's, he's staying. Matt Leinart's staying. Oh, so it's going to okay. be a USC Trojan uh, one side. of oh. the, uh, And then we got a Big Ten on the other side. I don't know. I think Urban, he was not great. I don't think he was that great at ESPN. He was okay. Well, Gene, if uh, if he's, you know. If if he's never really done this before, then technically he's an amateur, right? <laughs> so I'm sure he has no problem for going a paycheck wow. for four years, All right. or maybe yeah. he'll uh, declare eligible there within three go. years. All right, right? Yes, it's you, only fair let, play. You let him know, sure. Yep. Yeah. And uh, Gene, uh, I got another one for you. Okay. Keep them don't, coming. Don't congratulate him via text because you might get disposed by a lawyer. Oh. <laughs> 
And what else you got? Well, that's it. That's all I got. I, oh. thought, I thought that was pretty good. I thought what about was, Red? Because remember, because he got his 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 coach, yeah, yeah. his coach's wife. Oh yeah. Was texting him that uh, that your crazy assi- d- uh, your, coach. Your assistant coach is uh, beating the shit out of me, and uh, what he, uh, he he ignored the text or he blocked yeah. her or something like that. I'm not, that's not true, but mm. yeah, don't don't text Urban Meyer. He's not gonna respond. All right. All right. You tell him. And then. Uh, remember last year around the uh, the men's basketball tournament? I do. Were Michigan's uh, 2000? I'm sorry, in 2017. No, oh, this is maybe two no, years ago. No, last year they made the title. Or what are you talking about? Okay, there? well I'm talking about the plane crash that oh, the Michigan that two years basketball ago. team. Right. In right. 2017, it feels yeah. like it was only last year, but yeah. Uh, yeah. Was uh, apparently the uh, the NTSB, which I guess is some sort of authority, National Transportation and Safety, Safety Bureau. I'm, I'm yeah, guessing. That, uh, yeah, that sounds Makes good. Sense. Sure. Uh, uh, the accident was a. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Let me. Okay, plane accident was a couple split second decisions away from a catastrophe. Ooh. So uh, basically, uh, because the pilot made a decision to abort as opposed to uh, keep going, mm. uh, basically saved the plane. And uh, everyone else uh, on board uh, wow. as well. So uh, that's amazing. It's a pretty if you. I mean, it, it's very technical, but uh, you, you go to a couple of different stories, um, like from Deadspin, who kind of summarize it and that stuff. And uh, it's pretty, uh, pretty harrowing. Wow. You uh, think, actually, you think why? I always think why does it? Because teams fly so much. I wonder why there really hasn't been a huge act. Marshall back in the early seventies, which they made a movie about. Do you know John what? Madden was supposed to be on that plane? And that's why he has a fear of flying. Oh, Did really? You know yep. Oh, my God. That's a true fact. Oh, wow. That's yep. a good one. Yep. Mm. Or maybe it was a team from the 50s or something like that. I'm Because 70s, he was coaching by the 70s, right? No, but right? this was, he wasn't head coach at this. The, the Marshall crash was like 72. Oh, early? Okay, that makes more sense. Could be. Uh, but yeah, I mean, Seinfeld, of course, joked about this a long time where just the whole team just gone. But uh, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, 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 it will happen at one point, right? Mm. Oh yeah, well, I, I don't want to wish ill on anybody. Yeah, unless you're trying to destroy our country, mm-hmm. then we <laughs> have a problem. There you go. Step, step into the ring because we have a problem. Yep, a shooter. All right, so uh, pretty scary and uh, good thing That's that uh, everything was okay. And Michigan, by the way, Michigan finished second last year. Big Ten hasn't won a title in basketball for a long time, but they got a really good team again. Did so. Michigan State win like? Five years ago? No, that like? now it's been like 15. It's oh, been yeah. a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I know Wisconsin won the 50s or something like that. Wisconsin was second twi- two years in a row. They made the final four. Yep. What, it was Duke and it was... Uh, they lost, yeah. Duke one time against the championship. And then what, Kentucky maybe? Or maybe it was Arkansas. No, we beat Kentucky, I believe. No, All I right. know you beat them one year, but I think... No. Oh, I'm not sure. All I right. don't know. They, no one but wants they to, were there. No one wants to hear two guys be like, oh, oh I think... But I think. Wisconsin, in one of the... The one time they're in the title game, it could have been Duke. They had the lead. I yeah, the referee that, screwed them over yeah, a bunch of times. Yeah, something happened. That kind yeah. of, mm-hmm. All right. Well, Gene, we're going to uh, move on to a little odds and ends. Okay. I have an for odd the Midwest. end for you. They did the happiest cities in America, the top 20, and Madison made the list. So oh, yeah. There you go. I can believe that. Yeah. I can believe that. Well, Gene, uh, speaking of uh, Wisconsin cities. Oh. The Democratic National yeah, that's really cool. Convention. Yeah. Announced that they will be holding their 2020 convention in uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Nice, Milwaukee, beautiful city. So that's a nice, uh, nice little Milwaukee kind of gets used. They boost. they get a bit of a bad, bad. Uh, they get some stuff said about them, don't they? <laughs> well, you mean the terrible uh, segregation? <laughs> yes, that, the racial that, segregation uh, that's prevalent. Yeah. Uh, you're you you live there, so you could. Although I've been many times, but yeah. Uh yeah, all that. Well, Gene, I'm just I'm just worried. I just hope that uh, Barack Obama doesn't go into a Walgreens parking lot <laughs> at 2 a.m. Yeah, because you never know what's gonna happen. Right in there. Yeah, that's where the basketball. Yeah, was that's it the basketball. Player? That was the ba- that was the buck. It yeah. was um. Was that, I don't know what that guy's name was. <sighs> all right. That's all I got, Gene. Oh, that's all, okay. That's all the stories. That doesn't weird. happen in Iowa, but I think it's very exciting <laughs> for Wisconsin that we know of. Oh. That we know of. Mm, hopefully not in Iowa. Well, because was... there's no black people in Iowa. That's that's the problem. Well, you have black people first, I guess. We right? we've added something 
They, I don't know. We, okay. Hey, listen. Well, Gene, I hope a bad story doesn't come out next week and oh, uh, prove God. you wrong. The whole point is that it could happen to any one city yeah, who has yeah, a bunch of okay. racist cops. I just think embrace, try to love most people. Not a, you don't have to love them all. Just yeah. pick pick a few and well, just try to do that. Do you know what the golden rule is? It's treat others like yeah. you would be wanting treated yourself. That was great. Did that come right out of the Bible or was that? did the Bible borrow it from somebody? I think everyone kind of borrowed it yeah i think everyone i don't think jesus was the first guy saying that okay or moses hey and winter's almost over yep oh it's gonna yeah in la we haven't had 70 tomorrow's gonna be 70 for the first time yeah. in probably almost it's, two months yeah it's gonna be nice i've been uh waiting for it i'm ready for a long ass time and uh all right well that's uh that's pretty much it James. and the players championships this week right golf <laughs> yeah Is it? yeah but well, our friend our friend, uh, Troy Merritt, he's oh, yeah. going to be playing in it. So. He will? All right. Yeah, good luck, Troy. Good luck. He's already, is he already down there? He's probably already down uh, there, right? He's up to something. Good luck, Troy. Yeah, that'd be awesome yeah. for sure. So, all right. So that's it. Uh, thanks, mm. everyone, for listening, and thanks, Thank everyone, uh, for watching. Again, uh, share the show. Share it and, on uh, uh, if you haven't, If you haven't been to Field of Dreams, it's, oh, it's so beautiful. It's hard to get to. It's, in a, it's like on an old country road, and then... F- out of nowhere on this dirt gravel road, it, there's a sign that says, Welcome to Feel the Dreams. Yeah, it took us forever to uh, get the studio uh, yes, over here. I, we did. We had to Google, n- Not on steps, Google so. Maps, uh, by yeah, the way. They, yeah. they, they hate it. I don't know how that and happens. We should thank Feel the Dreams for letting us film. Yeah, thank the yeah. film. And for such a beautiful day, too. Yeah. Thank you, Feel the Dreams. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> All right. I don't think Kevin Costner is listening All to right. the show. Okay. Or maybe you want to uh, have him play. All my uh, best to my mom, too. And Lowell, who's her her lover, her, I don't know what you call someone's 83 or 84. Her, her boyfriend. You can yeah, say boyfriend. Yeah, boyfriend, right? we boy can, toy. We can infer he's, the sex. He's about still them. recovering from his broken ribs. But, All right. Yeah. Okay, okay. There you go. By the way, uh, hey, you know, if uh, if your mom wants, may, I think Kellen Winslow Jr. might be, oh might be available. Oh, my gosh. I, yeah, that's about his demographic. Maybe she's a little too young for him, though. Yeah, well, she's 83. So, okay. Yeah. Well, uh, maybe they can meet up at the hot tub, and yeah, uh, he can start yeah. rub, start rubbing yeah. her feet. Uh, Who knows? Yeah. Gene oh, may have a uh, younger sibling in no time at all. I guess that might be a, a problem. No thanks. All right. So, yeah, again, uh, share the show. Uh, you, there's a share button on the Facebook, so mm-hmm. go ahead and do that. Uh, but otherwise than that, uh, this has been the Midwest Sports Show. Coming from you, undisclosed location. I didn't even, I don't even know where we're going. I just get on the plane and go. Yep, it just shows up. All right, so for your Gene Steichen, my name is Chris Stotts. See you next week. Bye. Wow, that's good. That's cool. Feel the dreams? That's awesome. That's funny. It just shows you how... Throws it all. I mean, he 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 won't get out of jail. Because he just bail. Two million's a lot. He's facing multiple. He's facing multiple. That is beautiful. Nice. Yeah. Very strange. But he-